Hey everyone, this is once again the Phillips of NC Entertainment with a review of the Beatles' Help. This is the second in my Beatle-a-thon, as suggested from my previous video. The film starts off with some cult beginning the ritual. They're about to do something, but then they realize a ring is gone. It is actually a death ring. It turns out Ringo has it. And they must hunt him down in order to get it back. And that's the gist of the whole movie. There are songs on the way. And there is some action on the way too. In fact, this is a spoof of the James Bond movies from the 1960s. Especially 1965's Thunderball. I remember hearing about a one earlier James Bond film that James made one of the Beatles himself. I don't remember the exact clip. I haven't researched it. But I'm sure if you looked it up, you would probably know what I'm talking about. But anyway, one thing I forgot to mention last time was the director, Richard Lester, directed both this film and The Hard Day's Night. One thing he also directed was the sequels to the Superman 1978 film because the original director of that film, without getting sidetracked, got fired because all the other actors were on his side. Richard Donner, who was the director for the first Superman from 1978, so they replaced him, force replaced him, with Richard Lester for the sequels, and those sequels did not turn out very well. But anyway, back to Help. In Help, there are some significant scenes I remember since I was a kid when I first saw this. There's the war scene and uh, the tiger scene, which I personally didn't like because it kept trying to, uh, from my perspective, antagonize the animal because it was... Uh, an animal, you know? There's also this woman from the cult who takes sides with the Beals who says she's not who she seems. There are some great songs in the film like, um, of course, Help. Help. You know I need someone. You've got to hide your love away. Got to hide your love away. There is one song I personally don't like. It's not the Beatles' fault that they, that I don't like the song. The fact is that it just makes me feel bad because of, uh, they're saying, you're gonna lose that girl. Lose that girl. Yes, yes, you're gonna lose that girl. It just sounds like a smart ass song. It just sounds really like they're being smart asses, you know? It just doesn't smell, sound very good. In my opinion, of course. What else can I say? It's a really great successor to A Hard Day's Night. And for Beals fans, this is what you should probably watch next after A Hard Day's Night. And for next time, I'm going to go into a Magical Mystery Tour, the only Beatles film to be directed by the Beatles. See you there. See you next time.